son is at soccer practice in the ring and my younger son is up the back sleeping like a pig. So I thought this would be a good chance to record my video about 10 ways to be happy. Let's get started. Number one, always try, do your best, whatever you can to get a good night's sleep. So many different ways, but what I do most of the time, because it really helps, I use my body spa machine and then I do lymphatic drainage and detox on the soles of my feet and on some other body parts that feel more extra tired. And when you have a good night's sleep, what happens is you have more energy for the day, which sounds obvious, but when you have more energy, then we can go to number two. Number two, be deliberately nice. That means you need to consciously stop yourself from being mean, but it's true. We all have a little bit of mean in us, especially me. I'm talking for myself, obviously, but um, yeah. Once you start being nice to people, being kind, you'll realize you feel happier inside. Number three, this one may sound crazy, but when you're feeling down, and you don't feel like it at all, what you can do is smile for a minute, for one whole minute. You'll be surprised at how you feel after forcing yourself to literally smile for that short period of time. So I taught my son this, my older son, Clay. And sometimes when he knows that I'm frustrated or that I'm upset, he'll be like, mom, smile. Usually I'm in like the worst mood when he says this, but when he tells me to, and then I'm like, okay, you know what? He's right. I taught him that. I should do it. So then I force myself to smile. Does I don't force myself to stop feeling whatever else I was feeling, but I make sure I'm smiling and I focus on that smile. And what I do, what I find is that it really makes me feel happier. So next time, please try it for yourself. And the fourth one is that we hear nowadays so many people or so many things on social media that's telling us stay positive, be positive, be happy. But the reality of it is to be truly happy, you need to feel and let yourself feel all those emotions, like really feel them. You need to stop trying to avoid the negative ones, but also what's really important is don't deny the good ones. So what I used to do is I would tell myself that, oh, I don't deserve this. This is too good to be true. Like when something's going really well or when good things are happening to me, that's the kind of self-talk I was, I would put myself into. And that is toxic because the, when you do that to yourself, then you attract more negative things in your life. So don't do that. Or I used to think that happiness is fleeting and that things won't last, which is very much very true. In order to be truly happy, you need to accept the fact that nothing is permanent. Good, bad, meh, and like whatever won't last. So when you know that as a fact, it helps you to be the fifth point I want to bring up. To be happy, you need to live in the moment. And that means not thinking about the future, not thinking about what you did last night or just a second ago, not the past, not the future, but right now. Because when you are in the moment, you will notice things that you wouldn't if you weren't present and you wouldn't enjoy the things in the moment. Enjoy your kids, enjoy the laughter. Living in the present helps you stay grounded and appreciate everything that you have with you, in front of you, by you. It's just a life-changing kind of switch you need to turn on, remind yourself to be present. Next one, number six water your own grass and never compare yourself to others especially about your progress in something or what you have never do that because when you do that you're wasting time 
from watering your grass. You could have spent that time to better yourself or to make more progress in terms of where you're going. Cheer people on, applaud when they do something well or they get something that you want. Be happy for them, but never compare because that takes away from your own happiness. Number seven, plan your day out as best as you can. And this is coming from a person that never plans. But what I've realized is that when I wing it, I've done most of my life. What happens is I'm not ready to receive the best outcome of the situation or the day. Like I'm not ready to have a good meeting. I'm not ready to be like really patient with my child during the day or it's just, the trick is you need to plan with the scenario in your head, the best possible outcome in your head of every single thing that you do in the day. I know that sounds insane, but what you'll realize is before you learn this from me, what you do is you just have a plan for the day and then for some of the bigger events, even the smaller ones, you kind of expect not the best results. Like when you go, you plan to go shopping and, and then you'll just think like, okay, I got to find a parking spot. But, oh, that's a busy time because everyone's out for lunch. So you have to make sure that you're picturing yourself getting the closest spot to the door, to the entrance, so that you can park and quickly get off and get in and buy whatever you want and do whatever you need to do smoothly. I know it sounds so crazy, but once you try it one day or two days or a week, you'll see what I mean. Plan your days to the detail, the fine details, and make sure they're all happy and good. Plan your day to whatever you want to see happen and then trust that it will happen. Tell me how that goes. Number eight, believe that the best will happen to you. So that's kind of repetitive with two of the other ones, but it's basically to be happy, trust yourself, trust the universe, trust that everything is going for you, not against you. Be able to believe that the best will happen to you because why not, right? So the point is life doesn't happen to us. We determine how we live our lives through our thoughts and it's just insanity how many of us or all of us, most of us, just pick up the fact that that's not the truth and that it should be hardship, it should be, life should be hard. But I mean, there are challenges, but it's not there to stop you. It's there to make you better, you know. Number nine, let go of doubtful and limited thinking. This one, after I learned this for myself, I would just look around or listen to my friends, family, people talk, and you do realize that we are all living in such a limited thinking bubble. And we limit ourselves from dreaming big like we used to when we were children. And we add so much doubt into everything we do or everything that happens to us. Like we're, we're, like we're allergic to good things or happy things. And that's always for someone else and not ourselves. So don't think that way. Stop yourself when you feel like you're thinking a negative thing or a doubtful thing or a limited thought. Because dream big and the big things will happen to you if you dare to dream. I don't know what else to add to that. Just stop. <laughs> Think of the good things. Think of your dreams. You're not crazy for dreaming because society makes you think so. You dream because it makes you happy. And when you're happy, that's the key to getting so much more in life. And finally, we're gonna go straight into number 10. And this one is very close to my heart because I used to never be able to do this and it is to love yourself really hard like really really hard it's just like how you love something or love someone else it's 
loving every bit and every part of yourself and being proud to be yourself. Being able to say that you're proud of being you. Because to be honest, when you are judging yourself or when you are saying this isn't good enough, that isn't good enough, that's all negative. And that can't do good on your mood. That can't make you happy. It's just common sense, right? But when you love yourself and you take good care of yourself mentally and physically, that happiness will seep through you and it will also inspire other people to be happy as well and to love themselves. And I think that's such a beautiful thing. Yeah, I talked longer than I thought I would, but this this topic is just so 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 important to me and i just feel like i have to share it with you guys in the world whoever gets to see this video whoever is kind enough to click in and listen to all of that it's because you guys all deserve to be happy we all deserve to be happy and to have the things we want thank you for being here and please don't forget to dream smile and take care of one another make sure you're loving really hard all right, I'll see you in the next one.